Greetings, lovelies. Hi, it's Emmy. Welcome back to another Emmy Eats. Today, I will be eating Estonia. That was sent to me by Kat. Thanks so much, Kat, for sharing and sending me this cute little package of Estonian treats. So Kat actually lives in the UK. She's lived there for several years now, but her home country is Estonia. So she sent me some Estonian treats that she brought back from her trip the last time she went. Thanks so much, Kat, for thinking of me and for bringing back some treats for me to try. Here is where Estonia is located in the eastern part of Europe. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. My, my apologies for my poor Estonian. Monus mice. Mice? Delicious. I thought it might be a bear. I thought that might be his muzzle and his feet and stuff, but I don't think so. I think it's just little balls of something or other. It smells great. It smells sweet. No, kind of buttery. It the lucky mouse. Wow! It's very airy, it has kind of a caramel flavor, sweet and vanilla. When you bite it, there's practically nothing inside. I think it might be a corn base. It's pretty good. Look at this tiny one. It's called Tina. Got a little bit crushed. Mmm, it smells like dark chocolate. It smells a little bit raisiny. Let's give that a taste. Here we go. Mwah! It's a very, very soft jelly in the middle. Like a fruit jelly. I'm not sure what the fruit flavor is. Maybe apple? And on the outside, a very light, dark chocolate exterior. Not bad. Mopo mouse stick. Mopo mouse stick. Sorry. And this seems like a very old-fashioned type of candy. Please pardon the construction work outside. Yeah, I feel like it's everlasting. Yeah, consider it a construction concerto. It's a nice way to think of it. Mmm. Mm-hmm. A very good, simple candy. I've had a version of this in Cyprus and also in my Emmy Each China video. Different kinds of nuts. This one happens to be peanuts. And then the syrup is just like a caramel, just plain sugar caramel. Sugar that's been cooked to a caramelized state. I don't taste any cream or addition of butter. So the result is a toasted sugary flavor and lots of peanutty flavor. Tikkuna has an old classic car on there. The size and the wrapping of these kind of remind me of some of the Russian treats I've eaten in the past. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put the link down below. It smells chocolatey and I don't know quite what else, but let's give that a taste. Mmm. Very interesting. Inside it's just more chocolate. Kind of a, gen a ganache kind of chocolate filling. Slightly chewy and soft. But it doesn't necessarily just taste like chocolate. It's dark chocolate and it's definitely infused with something. Maybe a citrus? Citrusy kind of raisin flavor. It tastes like orange. But quite good. I like the texture. Slightly chewy and soft and a really great portion control size. This is made with Kamhi Kalev and it's called a Tomu. This one has a definite kind of eggnog smell to it. Let's see what's inside. Mmm. Wow. That one has a very strong kind of rummed eggnoggy flavor, but it's actually dark in the middle. Very strong flavor and quite sweet, slightly crumbly texture, and reminds me of the holidays. Pavale Mastus. And like the peanut one, it looks like the nuts are held together with a caramel. Ha! Huh. Mm hmm. And again, a very simple, good candy. It seems very ancient and old-fashioned. It's a solid bar of sunflower seeds that are kind of glued together by a syrup of, I'm guessing, just caramelized sugar. Very simple candy. Good. This is called Ananasi. Beautiful packaging, eh? And very cute little chocolate bar. And on the bottom, you can see there's a little kind of harlequin pattern. 
And it looks like it might be a wafer chocolate. Let's give that a taste. Mm-hmm. Be five layers of wafer with a cream filling and a chocolate coating. But this has a little bit of flavor to it. Very interesting combinations of slightly coconutty, maybe a little bit of rum, and a little punch of tang to it. Very surprising. And of course, you have that wafery crunch that tastes a little bit like um, an ice cream cone. Crunchy and very, very sweet. But never had that flavor combination before. This one is called Messy Cup. That has another little bear on it. A little log of chocolate. Cute. Mmm. The um, really tender, soft milk chocolate. And then inside are little crispy bits that taste like rice. It's kind of like puffed rice, but you can't see them. You can only taste them when you're actually chewing them. It tastes a little bit like wafer. It reminds me of some of the Swiss bars that I had. Nougat bars that were just deliciously creamy and melty and chocolatey. Similar texture. Marmalade has a similar name to a candy that I had in Israel, but I think it's going to be different. By the looks of the packaging, it might be cherry. Again chocolate. Mmm! Very soft jelly inside, like a gelatin, but the flavor is very strongly like of kirsch or cherry, and really nice bright kind of tartness to it as well. Interesting contrast to the dark chocolate. Kaseki. So I finally learned how to open these. You tear them and then you pull the string on the side. <laughs> this one looks like the messy cup but a little bit lighter in color. Mmm. Oh, that's nice. Really soft, slightly crumbly texture and sweet. Tastes kind of a little bit nutty, maybe a little bit hazelnutty, but really nice texture. It just melts in your mouth. Very smooth kind of consistency. I like that. The flavor, maybe slightly chocolatey, but Tastes kind of nutty. Estonian friends, do tell me what this is. It's delicious. And my last one is called a komit. I love the size of these, they're so cute. Ooh, this one smells like coffee. Yum, here we go. Mmm. A soft center that's slightly chewy and taste of coffee. I like that. Very, very sweet, slightly chewy, almost brownie-like texture. and light hint of coffee, like that komit. Thanks Kat so much for sending me these little bits of Estonia. I really enjoyed myself and it was really thoughtful of you to think of me on your last trip home. So I really appreciate it. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys enjoy that. And I'll see you in my next video. Toodaloo, take care, bye. All right, so here it is, let's open it up. And that's what it looks like inside. Looks like it comes with six dongle balls, the mitarashi sauce, and one toothpick. Yes, you read that correctly. Stay tuned.